Stop it. Who's that? Are you invisible? Stop it, please. Hey everyone, my name is Mike and welcome back to the Evil Within. In the last part we got we encountered a spider lady. A woman who looks like a spider, but she's still a lady because she's got long hair and a lovely face. And then we outrun her and we ran into Ruvik and he teleported about and made us fall through the floor. And brrr, we ended up in another place where we've never been before. So we're going to jump into this now and see what the fuck's going on. We don't even know where we are. Next chapter. Yeah. Seems someone wants me hospitalized. <laughs> fuck. Seems someone wants me hospitalized. It's not like, what the fuck? It's like, uh, yeah, this is like just a casual day in the office, this. Seems like someone's got it in for me. So casual, this guy. Just another journal right here. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna read that. You guys can have a little read if you want. Just more stuff about his background and his background isn't really important at the moment. It's more about what the hell is going on here. Not what was he doing before last Tuesday when he was having a cup of tea in the in the in the muffin shop, you know? Okay, we're full on um, bolts there. Alright, so we're gonna go for the mirror again and we'll head back to the um the hospital room where we can save and upgrade and shit. Oh, we did actually wake up in the. For me, my ass. We didn't actually wake up in the bed this time. So, is the nurse got anything new to show us? It's been a while since your last visit. No, it's been like half an hour. What, is she going to show us something different this time? There's a newspaper on the table there. Investigation stalls. Investigation stalls and serial killer case. Community cautiously optimistic. Citing laws of new leads. Police suspect serial killer may have gone into hiding or moved on. <laughs> yeah, that's okay, not too um, important right there. Okay guys, I just upgraded the shotgun a little bit there so we can carry more ammo and stuff like that. Not too serious, so I'm going to head back into the, the real world, the nightmare world, whatever the hell this is. And now, maybe, yeah, I think we've got to go back again and... He's watching. We can't leave. Fuck. Okay. The inner recesses, chapter five. Can we? Oh, there's a, there's a crying child. Oh, fuck. Is she crying? Is that her crying? Let's get the pistol out. Oh fuck! Look at that. That's twisted. Look at the face. I want to check that cabinet next to her. Oh, where's she gone? Where's she gone? Where did she go? Is she outside? Fuck. Don't kick the door, you dick! Okay, she disappeared. I, d I need to figure out what makes him kick the door, because all I'm doing is pressing X. I think it's if you move the stick while I press X, you got to stand still first, then press X, and that's just a weird method. Weird um, way to do it. Let's see. Okay, so this is like an asylum again. This seems like looks like the place where we go to save and do the upgrades and shit. And I don't think there's really much in these rooms, so that's worth coming in for. So we should I think we're just gonna walk down the end of the corridor here. We're maxed out on shotgun ammo and pistol ammo, and we've got quite a few bolts and stuff. The only thing that's gonna be really useful to us right now is picking up any um parts. Oh hello, hello. Oh, is it? Is this guy one of those guys that disappears? Where's that guy gone? Okay, what the fuck? He's there, he's there. Fuck! What the fuck? Where is he? He disappears and reappears. Nice. Get him. Fall down. Did he f oh fuck, he's there! Jesus, this is this is hard to fight these guys. Can you please fall over so I can ban you. Surely he fell over there, right? Where's he gone? He's making me waste a lot of bullets. Let's just run. I think we just ran into him there. There's a bit of a collision detection. Uh, they're, they're the worst enemies then. They can't even see them. 
So, there's a door here. This is like a new looking door. Oh, God. Okay, he's, he's, on, he's, he's there. He's fell over. Is he dead? He, I think he's down now. He's down for the count. Um, let's burn him anyway. Because they're, da they're dangerous. They're so tricky to figure out how to kill. You can't see them. If you've got a melee weapon, they're good to, get, to take on, though, because one swing and they're fucked. I should have used a shotgun on that guy, really. <laughs> I wasted so many pistol bolts right there. So there's no end to this corridor, there's just loads of rooms. Stop it. Who's that? Are you invisible? Stop it, please. What the fuck is this? So there's just plenty of rooms here. No, no explanation of what the fuck's going on. Oh, there's a painting at the end. Oh, this door? This, this door's just open, hasn't it? That was locked before. Um. Okay, so this is new. Uh, some green shit on the floor there. Give me some matches, please. Looks like I have to get down. <laughs> Looks like I have to get down. Is it the fuck's that? You see that thing just move? Like a toy? Like it's just it's a rat it's, it's a rat cow in a statue. They have keys inside. The statues have keys inside, in case you're wondering why I hit that. Uh, pistol bullets, that's nice. We fired quite a few before. We actually yeah, loaded, so. I'm going to start using the shotgun next, just to uh, even up the ammo. Right, there's, a, there's a cupboard here. Matches inside. We smash the cupboard open. Yep. Smash a glass window of a glass bottle. That's how I roll. So we got quite a few matches there, that's good. Uh, we're under this. That's the wheelchair from the, the start menu where it moves. It's gonna move, watch this move. No, yeah, it didn't move. Alright, there's an elevator there, it looks like it doesn't work. Oh no, it's not an elevator, it's just a... Hmm, locked. Need to find a key card. Okay. Need to find a key card. Yeah, okay, shit's moving. Is that an invisible guy again? Yeah, it's an invisible guy. You can hear his footsteps. Let me find it. If you see, like, blood on the floor, they walk through that and they make him... Um... There he is. He's there somewhere. I hit him, right? Come on. You can kind of see him very slight. Like a ghostly image. He's by the chair. I don't know where he is. He's here somewhere. There he is. That should have knocked him down. What the hell? That got you, bitch. Got you, bitch. God, they've got. They're not only invisible. They've got a shit ton of health. Three shotgun blasts to the chest, and they just. Oh, that's ridiculous. They're, they're, they're the worst enemies to fight in any game I've ever played. <laughs> Lately, anyway. <laughs> Maybe not ever. Right, if we get any more of them, I'm gonna fucking scream. I don't think there's anything in there, is there? I don't know why I did that. Right, it looks like there's blood on the floor there, so if we get more of those guys, we can kind of tell where they're standing. Right, it looks like there's a cabinet here. Shotgun ammo, that's good. Only one shell? You piss him taking the piss? Let's open this door. Uh, there's another invisible guy, isn't it? Yeah, of course there is. I think he's beyond the door. He's banging on the door. Fuck you, mate. Open the door quick. Spin him. 
Jeez. They're eating my ammo. I'm gonna try out this one next. Maybe the harpoon will like one shot them if I use the the regular harpoon. I don't want to waste an explosive one on one. I could do if getting like a meat cleaver or something, that'd be awesome. Okay, where are we going now? It's a TV switch on there. These dolls are creepy. Alright, so um, we're gonna go through this door. It's the only place to go, really, other than. Yeah, there's nowhere else to go. If we get any more invisible guys, this is gonna be so stupid. Just checking any. We need to find some um, ammo. A little bit. What was that glowy thing on the floor? Some shotgun ammo there, and some goo, that's good. Give me the goo. There's a body on the ground, and a flashing blue light. This is probably the key card, right? Alright, let's heal ourselves. Just gonna heal so I can pick up that syringe there. This key card belongs to one of the hospital staff. It appears to have the blood of his previous owner on it. Okay. It's good to know. Should have burned him. He looks like he's had a hard day anyway, so let's leave him. In this game, I don't think you need to kill anything. You can run around stuff if you really want to, like Resident Evil. Because it's pretty much... that's It's made by the same... Okay, yeah. Did someone just come in? Yeah, there's definitely someone here. I can hear footsteps. Nice! Nice! Did you see that shot? Took him across the room. Get wrecked, bitch! Can we take the harpoon back? I'm not quite. Take the goo. <laughs> Stop giving me these invisible guys. These go persistent throughout the whole game. It's gonna make this game a miserable experience. Oh, we got the key card anyway. Okay, we got some green goo in these cabinets over here. Let's check this out. Keep holding this crossbow for now. Cause it's it's it kind of one. Oh fuck you, mate. Ruvik, you dick. And before we follow him, I'm gonna check this cupboard. This cabinet. <laughs> Pistol bullets, nice. Gimme, give gimme. Give what is this machine? Okay, so this Ruvik guy is just taking the piss, right? He's, he, he's obviously super, super powerful. And he's just playing with us. He can teleport, he can kill people instantly, he can do what he wants, he can make up the world change. So it looks like we we followed him to an empty room, a square empty room. Why we've walked in here, I don't know. The door's gone. The door's disappeared. So we are trapped. There's a hole in the wall there. What's this? Peekaboo. And what the fuck? And there's a door there now. Yeah, makes sense. And what the fuck is this hole? So this is like a doctor of some kind. So every time you look through a hole, it makes a um, a door appear for that room that you've looked into. Is this my past? Is this something to do with me? Let's check this one first, the one we started on. Okay. So what in the fuck do we have here? There's a person crying inside. Let's smash the boxes first. <laughs> Let's take away from the, the the immersive experience first. Oh, what the hell? Are they holes in the ground with spike holes? They look like spike holes to me. Um, before we look at that, it's smashing boxes. There's a journal here on the side. Underground facility note. He lies, and to his own son, his own flesh and blood. It's outrageous. Gone to a better place? That's hypocrite. That sanctimonious fool. I know the truth. I know him better than he knows himself. He's trying to punish me again. He always resented our closeness. Think he can use it against me? Doesn't he take me for a fool? Laura is not dead. What the fuck is that all about? So let's read this. Yeah, what's this? Dials. Select button. Press left or right? Right. Yeah, that, that, that's never go right. 
That's the wrong button to press. I should have looked at the wall. Maybe there's a uh, there's a clue on the wall to press the right button. <laughs> okay, guys, I just restarted it again, and I, I think I've gone into a different room this time. Well, I definitely have gone into, and I thought it was the same one, but it's definitely not the same one. Now, is there anything on the wall? It looks like the same thing where you got to press a button. Is there anything on the wall that indicates which button you would might like to press? Brain on the left, heart on the right. Yeah, so I'm looking at this picture here, right? On the left-hand side, you've got a person looking at a flower. That's a nice experience, right? On the right-hand side, you've got some kind of demon and animals killing each other. That's like death on that side, right? So I'm going to go for the left button. I don't even know what the fuck I'm doing here. I'm just making up madness. So flower or dead flower? Flower, right? Oh, yeah, okay. So she got the spikes instead. <laughs> like, can we get out of here now? Is it necessary? Okay, there's blood leading out. Um, yeah. Alright. So the blood leads towards that wall. So I think we need to get blood from every room. It's that into that door and the a wall and the door will appear. That's what I think is going to happen. Alright, so we're back on the, the one where we got killed again. So let's look at the wall. On the left hand side... Looks kind of nice stuff, I guess. On the right hand side, it looks like torture. So I'm going to go left again, I think. So let's do left. We done right on this one last time. Oop. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so the blood is leading out of this room again. Probably, yeah, they all lead to that wall. So when we do this last one now, something will happen. Let's just hope that we don't press the wrong button. So let's look at the wall again. Well, all right. We got some shit to pick up, and we got a tape to listen to as well. Some music. Simulation of subject's consciousness. Initial symptoms: sharp pain and brainstem at centered on insertion point. Followed by gradual onset of hemorrhaging as capillaries dilate. Over time, degradation of the ego generates strong suicidal tendencies. They lose who they are and become clay, completely reshapable in my image, but not me. Something keeps me from staying completely within. Yeah. Alright, so what have we got on this wall? That doesn't really tell me much. The other one's on like a left and a right side. So it looks like on this one, look. Oh no, they're both the same actually. It's just showing different angles of the pins going on the brain. So let's look at the, the pictures on. The last two are left, right? So maybe they're all left. I don't know. Right, that looks like a single like chromosome type thing, and that's like connected to something, like maybe mutation. So let's go for the left one and hope we don't die. <laughs> Fuck. Okay, guys, final door again. Uh, we're done the other two again. So last time we done left, so this time it's gonna be right. Yay! So the blood now will lead out of this room, and the third door... Alright, what happens now with all the blood facing that side? Does something happen? Yeah. It's like a tomb door, isn't it? So let's go inside here. <laughs> Alright, what have we got? We've got a box on the left, I can't open it. Got some goo on the shelf. Give me that goo. Alright, oh shit, that's one of the guys from the very start who was in the hospital with us. Joseph! Where's he in a bath of semen? Hold him! Don't let him fall to his face! Jesus. Thank God you're okay. It's not okay. I don't know what I am. But it's definitely not okay. Yep. You brought me here. It feels like, like, do 
You hear that? We need to get out of here. Can you move? Yeah, I... Joseph! Healing partners. Hold X heal partner. Does not consume health items. That's good. Before we heal, heal our friend, though, let's um, get some stuff. That's much better. So I need to keep holding. So if he ever takes damage, I just hold X and then he gets back up. It's good to know. Okay, seeing as we just found our friend Joseph right here, we're going to actually end it here, guys. That's all we got time for. So um, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.